Congratulations on purchasing the EPIC-10 Diode Laser System from BioLase. EPIC is the world's first diode laser system that combines soft tissue surgery, whitening, and pain therapy in a single device with an easy-to-use touchscreen that simplifies the steps needed to get to work, regardless of which treatment type you are using. For complete details, please refer to the EPIC user manual and quick setup guide included in your packaging. Your EPIC system is shipped inside a convenient carry case for easy transportation. To open the EPIC packaging, set the box with the handle up. Lift the flap. As you lift the flap, grab the handle and tilt the package forward to access the EPIC and all accessories as shown. You will see the EPIC Welcome Kit, which contains important documents related to your EPIC system. Be sure to review all items carefully prior to first use. The top layer within the EPIC box contains your EPIC laser console with the delivery system installed, foot switch, an extra set of AAA batteries for your foot switch, surgical handpiece and case, tip initiation kit, box of EPIC disposable single user laser tips, and a box for your EPIC delivery system. The bottom layer contains three pairs of protective laser eyewear, a pair for the dentist, a pair for an assistant, and a darker pair for the patient. Power supply and cord for EU and North American countries. Screen protectors for the EPIC touchscreen. Remote interlock cable. Phillips head screwdriver for replacing foot switch batteries. If you ordered a whitening handpiece or deep tissue handpiece, these items are shipped in separate packaging. Please consult the EPIC user manual for additional instructions. Finally, the laser danger sign for your clinical workspace where the EPIC laser will be used is tucked inside the foam attached to the top lid. Be sure to remove and place in plain view in the work area where EPIC will be used. Before you start using EPIC, there is important safety information that you need to know. The EPIC produces laser radiation that can be hazardous to the human eye. The Nominal Ocular Hazard Distance, or NOHD, measures the level of laser hazard. It is a calculation of the closest direct distance from which the laser light might be safely viewed by an unprotected eye. The NOHD for EPIC is 2.6 meters, or about 8.5 feet. This means that everyone in the room where you use the EPIC laser must wear laser safety glasses. The EPIC system ships with laser safety glasses especially designed to protect eyes from the particular wavelength of the EPIC laser. Using other laser safety glasses, even ones designed to block a similar wavelength, may provide no protection at all. Use only the EPIC safety glasses supplied with your laser or purchased through BioLase or an authorized BioLase distributor. There are several additional safety precautions to be aware of. Never look directly into the beam or at specular reflections. Never direct or point the beam at a person's eyes. Always place the EPIC laser into standby mode before exchanging handpieces or disposable single-use tips. Always power the EPIC laser to the off position before leaving the unit unattended. Regulations state that any room where the EPIC laser is used must be marked with an appropriate laser danger sign, which is included in the top flap of your EPIC packaging. Finally, if for any reason you need to shut off EPIC because of an emergency, Note the position of the red emergency stop button. Press the red emergency laser stop button to deactivate the laser. Place the unit in a clean, dry, and well-ventilated area. Verify the power switch is in the off position. EPIC will operate using either DC power or a rechargeable lithium-ion battery pack. To use DC power, connect the power cord to the laser console and plug into a wall outlet. To use battery power, you must first fully charge the battery. To fully charge the battery, plug the power supply in and then turn the laser console on at the power switch. The laser console will start to charge and the unit will go into sleep mode with the screen off after five minutes. If the power supply is plugged in but turned off at the power switch, the battery will still charge, but at a slower rate. 
Once the battery is charged, unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and the laser console. The laser console will run on battery power alone. Now it is time to connect the fiber optic delivery system to the EPIC. Note that your EPIC system may have shipped with the fiber optic delivery system installed. If not, follow these instructions. Insert the fiber optic assembly into the base of the EPIC unit. Remove protective cap from the end of the fiber shaft. Carefully connect the handpiece to the fiber optic assembly. Insert the selected tip and tighten it clockwise until snug. Wind any excess fiber optic cable onto the fiber spool counterclockwise around the base of the console. The handpiece is now ready to use. To store the handpiece, place it in the handpiece holder located at the top of the laser console. If you purchased an EPIC system with either whitening or pain therapy handpieces, please refer to the documentation included with each handpiece for installation instructions. Ensure that the battery pack has enough charge for operation, or connect the power supply cord to the power connector on the laser console. Turn the power switch at the rear of the base of the console to the on position. The BioLase logo screen will appear. After three seconds, the EPIC 10 welcome screen and keypad will appear. Enter the three-digit key access code, which is 888. If the code is incorrect, a red X will appear and the screen will revert to its original state. Once the correct code has been entered, EPIC will display the home screen, which has three procedure categories to choose from, soft tissue, whitening, and pain therapy. Before proceeding, become familiar with several important elements on your EPIC home screen. The wireless signal strength indicator in the upper left corner indicates the wireless signal between your EPIC laser and its foot switch. You will also see the laser console battery strength indicator in the upper right corner, which indicates the remaining battery life for your EPIC system. Finally, you will see a settings icon to access the settings screen. The foot switch used to control EPIC wirelessly has a protective hood. To open the foot switch, press down on the protective hood and it will raise. To close it after use, simply press on the protective hood until it locks. Your EPIC and foot switch are paired at the factory. To verify that your EPIC and foot switch are paired, there are two visible indicators. One, blue LED lights on the laser will blink. Two, the wireless signal strength indicator. If wireless communication between your EPIC and foot switch is not present, tap on the settings icon in the bottom center of the home screen. Next, tap the wireless icon. A screen will appear indicating that pairing of the foot switch to the laser console has been lost. Press the green pair button to begin the pairing process. A message that pairing will now begin will appear. Press the green check mark to continue. To complete the pairing process, turn the foot switch over and press the pairing button for four seconds, then release. After two to three seconds, a message should appear indicating that pairing was successful. If pairing is not successful, a screen will appear with a red X between the EPIC and foot switch. Press the try again button. The control button on the EPIC is a multi-function button. Pressing and holding the control button for two seconds will allow you to transition the laser from standby mode to ready mode. Note that you will not be able to place the EPIC in ready mode unless you have selected a treatment mode on the home screen first. Press and release the control button to place the EPIC laser into either ready or standby mode. The laser console will only emit laser energy when the foot switch is pressed and the laser console is set to ready mode. While in ready or standby mode, you may change modes, power settings, and other variables only when the foot switch is not engaged and the laser is not firing. Adjusting any settings is blocked when the laser is firing. Also, note that ready or standby is displayed in the lower right-hand corner of the display screen. Non-sterile tips for the EPIC are available in three diameters, 200, 300, and 400 microns for applications in endodontics, periodontics, and general soft tissue surgeries. Refer to your EPIC tips packaging for special clinical applications. The tips supplied for the EPIC are not sterile, and the packaging is not suitable for autoclaving. You should sterilize your tips in an autoclave prior to use. You will find recommended cleaning and sterilization specifications in the user manual. Insert the tip into the open end of the surgical handpiece and turn clockwise to tighten it. Make sure the tip extends straight from the cover. If it is angled, remove and reinstall the tip until it is straight. Once properly installed, you may bend the tip as desired, but be careful not to make too sharp of an angle. 
When the procedure is finished, remove the tip and dispose of it in a biohazard sharps container. Reuse of tips will result in reduced laser performance and may damage the fiber or laser system. The EPIC touchscreen display is a streamlined interface for operating the EPIC. There are three treatment modes, soft tissue, whitening, and pain therapy, accessible from the home screen. When you press whitening or pain therapy modes, you will enter a single screen with adjustable settings. When you press soft tissue mode, you will enter a procedure screen. From this scrollable list of procedures, you can select 14 preset procedure settings or six custom procedure settings. To check if the tip is properly attached, shine the aiming beam from a straight tip without pressing the foot switch onto a surface such as a tabletop. If the red aiming beam makes a pattern of a circle, the tip is connected properly. The EPIC can be activated only when it is in ready mode, which is noted by a green LED on the console. The appearance of the word ready in green letters in the lower left-hand corner of the console display, along with the appearance of the red aiming beam from the end of the tip. If you press the foot pedal while EPIC is in standby mode, you will see an alert screen. To clear the alert screen, press the control button and the laser will enter ready mode. The EPIC has the ability to store up to 20 preset procedures for soft tissue surgery. It is factory installed with 14 pre-programmed procedural presets and 6 empty slots for custom presets. To select a procedure preset, scroll through the list and tap the procedure you wish to use. To store your personal preferred setting for any procedure, scroll to the procedure you wish to customize. Enter the new parameters, then press and hold the procedure name for 2 seconds. You will hear a beeping sound confirming the settings are stored. EPIC has numerous preset soft tissue settings available from the touchscreen interface. Select the procedure you wish to perform by scrolling through the list and tapping the desired procedure. Most soft tissue surgical procedures require initiation of the fiber tip. EPIC will prompt you if initiation is recommended. If EPIC prompts you to initiate the tip, follow these steps and settings. First, open your tip initiation kit and remove the initiation block, which is a small cork. Touch the EPIC tip to the surface of your initiation block without firing the laser. Next, fire the laser, allowing the tip to sink into the block. Count 1, 2, 3. Pull the tip out of the block, count 1, 2, and stop firing. At this time, the tip should be out of the block. Fire the laser quickly at a non-reflective surface once. The tip should glow yellow-orange. During a procedure, there is a chance that the tip might lose its initiation. Repeat the tip initiation procedure if necessary. To perform teeth whitening with EPIC requires a whitening handpiece and Laser White 20 whitening kit. Please refer to the instructions that are provided with the Laser White 20 kit. EPIC is designed to provide near-infrared laser energy to a tissue surface for the purpose of temporary pain relief when applied with a deep tissue handpiece. For more complete instructions on the pain therapy procedure, refer to the EPIC user manual. Use the peel-off clear covers for the EPIC console supplied with the system. After each patient, use disinfectant to wipe down the front panel and handpiece holder of the EPIC after each procedure. Do not use bleach or abrasive cleaners. The contamination control suggested for the EPIC surgical handpiece and tips is the steam sterilization method. However, before sterilization, the EPIC reusable handpiece should be carefully cleaned per the procedure that is outlined in the EPIC user manual in Section 8. Please read that section of the manual carefully prior to performing contamination control procedures. If you wish to adjust system settings, tap the settings icon on the home screen. On the settings screen, you can change settings for language, aiming beam brightness, system volume, or restore factory settings. The service mode button is accessible only by an authorized BioLase service representative. To install or replace the EPIC lithium-ion battery pack, please refer to the EPIC user manual. Please use a BioLase supplied battery pack only. From time to time, your EPIC system may display an alert, caution, or warning message on the touch screen. For a complete list of possible messages and steps to resolve, please refer to the EPIC user manual or quick setup guide.
You are now ready to begin using your EPIC. The EPIC is only the beginning of a whole range of enhanced treatment and diagnostic services you can provide for patients with systems from BioLays. The WaterLays I Plus All Tissue Laser is a powerful yet economic laser for restorative, pediatric, perio, cosmetic, and endo procedures. WaterLays I Plus is our fastest and most intuitive all tissue laser yet and cuts tissue at speeds comparable to a high speed drill but without micro fractures or the risk of cross contamination that exists when burrs and endophiles are reused and without anesthetic in most cases. We encourage you to contact us to learn more about these truly groundbreaking products.